Hey guys, Brian B at T Garage. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so how about a little update? The last time we talked about Molly, we were going to put Tom's motor in here. Um, took it apart and realized it needs bearings and just it basically needs to be machined and. And instead of spending all that money, I'm just going to um, use some of those funds to focus on what Molly already has in her. Um, so I will use Tom's motor at some point. It's going to get rebuilt. Um, just not right now because some other things came up with Molly. Uh, right now I'm doing a wire tuck. I'm halfway through it. So we're going to pick up where I, where I left off, I guess, without videoing it. Um, cleaning the engine bay. Going to paint as much as we can with the engine still in there. Um, take the headers out. These were a pain in the ass to get out. Yep, they're pretty rough, but they worked. One of the reasons why I had to take out the headers is because, well, I'm not going to use them anymore. And these motor mounts are completely done. They're just trash. Check them out. Covered in just dirt and oil. and So, we got some brand new ones. We're going to put those in. The long tube headers are out. Cleaning up the engine bay, it's a complete disgusting mess. There's 25 years of dirt and oil spills and all kinds of crap. Yeah, you can see how gnarly it was. That's actually cleaned up. There was probably that much dirt kicked on the side of that motor. I, I mean, I'm probably taking off five pounds of dirt off this thing so far. It's getting cleaner. It's not going to be showroom, but it's going to be a hell of a lot cleaner than it was. All right, so the reason why... The direction's changing yet again on Molly is because something came on the market that I had to just buy. I couldn't let it go. It was too good of a deal. Um, if you guys know Justin 91LX, he's got a 351 turbo. It's an on-kit. Um, car is super fast. Um, but apparently it's not fast enough because he's going to go even bigger. Uh, a whole new kit. So that means that Molly... Yep, we're going turbo, boys and girls. I got this whole kit. Um, we're going to go micro squirt. Um, I've already got pretty much all the parts. The only thing I don't have is a new radiator and a 3G alternator and electric fans. But other than that, we've got everything. Injectors, intake, um, valve covers. Yeah, stick around and uh, cross your fingers that I get it done and that I'll bolt the damn thing up. If I do, I guess I've got another motor. I've spent like 16 hours at least cleaning the engine bay. I've cleaned as much as I can get to. Um, I put new engine mounts in. Um, scuffed it up, cleaned it up, got it all bagged and taped off. So we're going to go ahead and hit it with some paint code 21, which is what Molly is, is paint code 21. And this stuff kind of matches, but it's in the engine bay, so I don't care. Guys, it's Saturday morning. Up early, couldn't sleep. Tried to come out here. Paint job's done. Looks pretty good. Going to quickly hit this with some enamel. This is the throttle cable bracket. It's kind of all jacked up. So, gonna get that taken care of. And then probably gonna actually mount the wiring harness. I think I'm ready to do that. And then once the wiring harness is done, probably start mocking up some turbo stuff to see where we're at. I know that I'm missing some stuff. Um, for example, like the intake here. This is an Explorer intake, and it's got multiple vacuum lines for a lot of stuff that I don't need. Um, PCV, EGR, all that kind of stuff needs to come out. So I'm going, I'm plugging, and some tapping, I'm plugging some of these. I'm only going to need three. I need my um, brake booster, um, which will come off of probably this. Um, this will be my blow-off valve, and then this will be my blow-off valve, and that'll be the uh, fuel pressure regulator. But I gotta get the taps from uh, where the '64 Mustang is, '65, um, so I can tap these out. But I've got my plugs and stuff ready to go. These little guys. Thanks, Lowe's. Yeah, this was here. This was your EGR part of it. 
um, or PCV, I'm sorry, and then this was here. So these just pull out, they're pressed in. All right, so I've got the throttle body, the throttle cable bracket painted, it's drying. Um, with the on three kit, you don't have to, but uh, it's better if you relocate the alternator to the other side, the driver's side. Uh, so I'm doing that, and since I'm doing the wire tuck, I might as well do it, you know, what I think is the right way. So um, here's your alternator connections. I'm going to remove it from the headlight wire loom. This harness here is for the headlights, and they combine the alternator with it. So I'm going to remove that so then I can shorten it or do whatever I need to do, and then I'll put the headlight harness back in the car. All right, guys. It's a couple days later. Uh, mounted the turbo in the car. Just mocking it up. I think I showed it to you last time. Um, so turbo's in there. Just checking to make sure it's still clocked correctly from Justin's car. Looks like it is. Uh, pulled some of the, the tarp and plastic and all that crap off the motor. Going to try to get um, the motor buttoned up this week. Um, this header, Justin had it wrapped. And I put some of this because it had burned off. He had it wrapped with the DEI stuff, that fiberglass wrap. And I do like that, but it was all tore up because it just deteriorates when you jack with it. So I pulled that off, uh, recoated it with that header paint. I'll do the other one later. Uh, but I need to, in three hours, I'll mount this up. And I need to measure the crossover pipe on the hot side because, because Justin had it extended four inches. And that's obviously not going to work on my car, so I'm going to have to get that cut and re-welded. If I can get all of this mocked up, then we'll be putting everything together. I still got to punch the oil pan for the oil return line. That's going to be fun. I need to get the tap from uh, Mustang Sally's garage. Uh, and we got to drop the gas tank. We have to drop the fuel tank as well sometime this week. Um, we've got four weeks to get going, and I'm going to be gone in a week. So I'll lose a week. So really, I have three weeks to get this car done, running, and started tuning for the 19th, which is our... Uh, Fox Fests presented by North Texas Fox Party Club. So that's gonna be awesome, too. It's a private event this year But next year it's gonna be open to everybody All right, let me get this header Sorted out and get the crossover pipes put in and all that kind of stuff All right, just another, another update here. I've got the driver's side header on I had to get a different Oil filter. That's the FL the, the Motorcraft FL 910S. It's a shorty Oil filter, I've got my oil feed line on, oil pressure sensor. Don't have an alternator yet. What I need to do now is I need to cut the crossover pipe on the hot side. Um, the previous owner, Justin, he had a 351, it's a little bit wider, so they had to add four inches to it. So I gotta cut that off, clean it up, and weld it back together. Um, so that's gonna be a total shit show, I'm sure. Uh, Cause you know, I'm, just a, I'm such a good welder. No, I'm not. All right, so let me get that taken care of, then we'll see what it looks like when I'm all done. All right, it's some time later. I uh, cut that piece off the crossover pipe, welded it back on, and it looked like garbage. I looked like, well, you guys know I can't weld worth a damn, so um, it didn't come out right. So I went to the auto parts store, and well, what I had done is I'd cut the section out, and then I cut that section down to fit the piece that I cut out, and then welded it back in there, and it was burned through, and it was just terrible looking. <sighs> so I went to AutoZone, or no, all right, this doesn't really matter. And I got a coupling, a two and a quarter inch couple. And I cut the old piece off again and welded the new one on. It looks way better. So here's the piece. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. I mean, I'm not a welder, but it doesn't leak as far as I can tell. So we'll be good. So I'm going to paint it with some... The budget doesn't have the DEI wrap in it yet, so we'll do that later. But yeah, all right, I'm almost done for the day. Let me get this painted up, and I'll get it put on, at least mocked up, and we'll see how it looks, see if it fits. Flip it, do another two more. Um, should be good. Mm -hmm. 